So another man who's here tonight uh, supporting PKG and, and Chad is uh, Mac Danzig from the UFC. How are you feeling, Mac? Nervous? Uh, no, I, I used to get real nervous all the time when I when I corner guys back in the day. Way more nervous than if I was actually fighting. But no, it's it's all good. No, I'm I'm confident, man. Chad's confident. He's feeling good, so I am too. I usually feed off the energy of the guy that I'm working with, and and he's he's good to go. So so am I. Yeah, he's, uh, Chad's had great sparring, obviously, uh, work, been having the chance to work with you, and you were getting ready for your fight with uh, Cerrone, and unfortunately you had to pull out. Uh, what exactly happened with the, with the injury? Um, I, uh, I, I got uh, tendon and muscle torn right off of the bone on my hip. So uh, it was a really weird injury, and um, it, it hurt like hell, and, and uh, I knew obviously something was really wrong, and I didn't know exactly what. And I went and got an MRI in Vegas, and I was hoping that if there was any chance that it was something that they could fix with a cortisone shot or something, that they'd be able to do it. But because of the way the injury was, uh, surgery wasn't even an option because the tendon is torn off the bone, so there's nothing to sew the muscle back onto. So. Um, uh, it was one of those things they told me six to twelve weeks recovery time and so it's been four weeks now I'm starting to feel pretty good it's not obviously not a hundred percent but I've, I've been riding a bike every day and a uh, rowing machine and just doing what I can to stay in shape and um, you know what are you gonna do that's that's the name of the game injuries so this just try to get back in there and, and work whenever I can uh, you, uh, the good thing about UFC is that you guys get covered by insurance now too though, right? So uh, they were able to take care of this for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, I was I was able to get looked at and get the MRI and get the diagnosis. And unfortunately, there wasn't anything like treatment-wise that I could do other than resting. But, um, but, but yeah, I was taken care of and that's having that... That insurance is just awesome. I mean, like it's it's such a huge huge benefit for uh, for fighters. You know, it, it really is. So I'm just hoping that uh, you know, like some of these other organizations are able to adopt the same thing. It's not likely, but um, you know, the UFC is doing doing the right thing, and it's it's I'm really grateful to be involved with an organization that takes care of the guys like that. Um, so obviously you, you, you got another uh, at least uh, f uh, four weeks to go, maybe up to eight weeks. Uh, I know you're a tough guy. I've had the opportunity and chance to train with you. And, and uh, uh, when, when you get a chance to get back in there, you will. Uh, have they talked about any pot potential opponents or dates for you at all? No, not yet. I mean, they usually, they, they don't, they won't start thinking about things as far as scheduling an opponent or, or a date until I until I tell my manager to tell them that that I'm I'm back training a hundred percent and so that hasn't happened yet so we're just gonna wait until then so uh, like I'm, I'm hoping within the next three weeks I'll be back in there and, and training full force and, and able to schedule something and you know I mean yeah, nothing. Nothing has been even vaguely talked about yet. So I, I hope that I could get on like an, a late October card. That would be nice. You know, like George St. Pierre's fighting Nick Diaz, I think, in late October, and uh, that that would be really perfect timing for me. But it all depends on on them and 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 what they've got going on with other fighters. And sometimes it's a longer wait than you anticipate. So. If you want to know more about Mac and his recovery and his training and, and what's going on in his life, you can you can follow Mac on, on Twitter as well. Uh, and I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Mac Danzig MMA. Yeah, so it's yeah. Twitter, Mac Danzig MMA. Danzig, yeah. D-A-N-Z-I-G. German or Dutch? <laughs> German, German and Polish, both. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm mostly Scotch-Irish. But, you know, what are you going to do? Hey, it's, it's all European. We're all... All, all of us Europeans, it's all just one beautiful melting pot. Yeah, all over. It. it doesn't really matter, does it? No. <laughs> Not anymore. All right, Mac Danzig, check him out, and you will see him back in the UFC shortly. StudioMMA.com.